praise the Lord, everyone. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. Merry Christmas, everyone. Won't be long. It'll be Christmas is on its way every day. It's celebration of Christ. Every day. Praise God. So we're going to go into Daniel chapter 5. We're going to cover the whole chapter. And we want the Lord to have his way. I'm on. I want to welcome you to uh, join me for my Sunday school. It will be at ten o'clock on Sunday. Tune in on God on on my uh, on Facebook and on twelve at twelve o'clock on Gospel True Light Church of God in Christ. My pastor, Elder Superintendent Elder Reginald Bradley, he will be bringing forth the word. And on Tuesday, First Lady Bradley, uh, she will be teaching a uh, prayer and Bible band. Tune in on Gospel True Light Church of God in Christ. We're going to jump right in. And uh, oh, a few other things. You know, Christmas is a, uh, and holidays. Sometimes people are kind of lonely and stuff. That's because of the enemies using their mind. But you can get hope and joy through Christ. You know, God will comfort your heart and give you joy. I know a lot of people have, um, you hear a lot of people nowadays are uh, 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 with the sickness. And some people have lost loved ones. But God is the God of all comfort. Ain't nothing that you in that God can't help you with. He's a God of all. He's so good to us all. The very breath that we breathe is from Him. He allowed us to breathe in and out. It's because of the Lord. It's nothing about us. About you being in good physical shape. And it's about the Lord. And your heart beating is because of the Lord. I'm going to pray. We're going to jump into the scripture. And we want the Lord to have His way. Father, we just thank You for Your goodness and mercy. Lord, have your way, Lord God. Have your way in me, Lord. Open up my understanding. Open up all our understanding. Give me what to say and what not to say, Lord. Have your way. Lord, look out on the nation, Lord God. Save the unsaved, Lord God. Give people mind that I've mixed to, to say, what must I do to be saved, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do for the festivities of a holiday. And those are discouraged. Give them, encourage their heart to look to you, Lord God. You are God of all comfort. Oh God, we thank you for all things and and those that are heavy with the loss of loved ones, Lord God. Encourage their heart. Oh God, have your way. Look on our pastors and preachers and oh Lord, encourage their heart. We thank you for all things, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We're gonna talk uh, Daniel chapter five. And it's uh Belshazzar. That's the grandson of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is the uh, the uh, king of of, of of Babylon, and he came to uh, uh, Bethlehem, Judea. He came to Judea, and, and for three deportations, each time he went to uh, uh, Judea, uh, uh, Judah, he took uh, he he took stuff from the temple. He took some of the people back, like Daniel, Ezekiel, and different people, different deportation and so also he emptied out the third time his when he went down to uh, Judah he took uh, he, he emptied out the the temple Solomon's temple and they went stone up on another stone and took all uh, that and they also took he took a lot of the people people were in captivity it was uh, God let uh, allow these people to go into captivity for seven years not acknowledging the the uh, I believe it's the, the seventh the Sabbath day and it was 70 of his Sabbaths that they didn't acknowledge. And so they went to captivity for 70 years. And it's getting closer to the 70 years, and they're in Babylon. Uh, and so um, they, uh, Nebuchadnezzar took the southern kingdom, which is Benjamin, Benjamin and Judah. But it's getting closer. And he took Daniel. And Daniel is, uh, is uh, uh, God has exalted Daniel over in the enemy's territory. He has exalted Daniel with dreams. And, uh, we're going to read on down and see more. Um, praise God. With excellent spirit. The spirit is God's spirit. So, one, five and one, five and one, Belshazzar. This is the grandson of Nebuchadnezzar. He was, the, he was having a great big feast of, uh, with a thousand lords. And it was drinking. It was getting themselves drunk. And so, Belshazzar um, the the you know so what he did we will see later on as we continue to read on and he asked for the goblets and vessels that were in the that were set aside that came from the temple in Jerusalem 
praise the Lord. And so they were, um, the, the, what I wanted to say about the lords, the thousand lords that were with them, uh, they were out there, um, they were like uh, rulers or monarchs, and you know, people in higher positions. And so they're drinking, and, and, and outside of the, the building, outside of that um, the uh, fortress where they were, they, it was so fortified. It looked like, you know, how people, they were saying before I came in the world, you know, that the Titanic was unsinkable. I heard that, but it was sinkable. And this man thought that the, the fortress, the fort that they had was so big on the inside and the walls were so high that people could, uh, three or four different chariots could ride in the side by side. It was massive and it was built, fortified, that no enemy could come and penetrate it. Like almost impossible. But we know nothing's impossible with the Lord. The Lord pre-planned that the enemy, how the enemy would come in before, uh, before these. Uh, I think it's, I don't know the the time period, but it was prophesied way before the time. And uh, God prophesied it's, everything comes to pass. But let me move on. But anyway, like three or four chairs could ride side by side on that um, in that fort, inside that fort. It was really. Put together very well and uh, so Belshazzar praise God he's the last king of Babylon he had a father uh, that was wouldn't he went so he was living somewhere else he was the king but he left his son in uh, as king because he wouldn't he didn't stay there in, in Babylon and so his son reigned for a short time praise God so second verse Belshazzar while he was tasting wine he commanded everybody, he commanded his servants to bring the gold and silver vessels which were taken uh, when, his, when Nebuchadnezzar, his grandfather, had taken from the temple that was in Jerusalem. Praise God. So, so that every, to continue in the party, so the women and the concubines and princes and all, all himself could drink from those goblets. Those goblets were sanctified. They were set apart for the master's use. And God's not pleased with that. And his, his father, his grandfather, learned his lesson. You know, uh, God showed him who the true and living God is. And uh, he's going to be uh, humbled. He's going to humble him. And uh, he saw he saw his grandfather's, what happened to him when he was eating grass as an as a ox. And feathers grew out on him and other things happened. But, and he gave honor to the Lord. He knew the very breath that he had. It came to his senses after seven years that he knew the very breath that he breathed. I think that's what uh, Daniel was telling uh, ne uh, Belshazzar, the very breath that you breathe. God holds your breath in his hands. But Nebuchadnezzar, he, uh, he, he uh, went through, sometimes people have to learn the hard way. Look, and it's bad to learn the hard way. The Bible, these are for an example that we don't lust at the evil things, but other people have lusted. But anyway, he asked for those goblets, and they were brought to him. And so he was glorifying, he was praising the God of gold, silver, and brass, and iron, just bragging. And, uh, and these things, they can't breathe or anything, you, you know. And so he was in stone. And, uh, uh, math, and so Daniel 4 and 33 says, the same hour, where, this is what happened to his grandfather, the same hour upon Nebuchadnezzar as when he uh, lost his mind. You know, he was exalting himself. He was, Babylon was, as in history, tell like it's a beautiful, beautiful place to, to, to uh, live. But uh, he was driven, uh, he lost his mind. He started eating grass like an ox. They, and it's the people in the kingdom, they drove him out. He said he was driven out from, uh, from men, from people. And he did eat ox. He did uh, eat grass as an ox. His body was wet with the dew of heaven. His hair grew out like like eagle feathers, and his nails like like bird claw. He got exalted himself, and he was talking about how you know talking about how wonderful, how exalted himself, how great he was. He thought he was, but the Bible let us know not to exalt. Don't think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think sober. You know, you got to give God the glory. Praise God. And God humbled him. He humbled him. And 34 and 37, Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and exalt and honor. Now he came to his senses. He honored God of heaven. All those works are true. All his works is true. Everything the Lord does is right. 
and he sees his sovereign and his ways and his ways judgment and those that walk in pride this is this is what he learned by walking in pride his grandfather is a, a, god is able to abase him he'll put you in a humble year okay we're back to uh, belshazzar uh when they when the vessels were were taken to him and they were drinking out of it and this what happened verse five and five and in the same hour came four uh there appeared uh, it was a, a man's hand had appeared and he was writing on the wall against the against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace and the king saw he saw that and he, he saw part of the hand that wrote the king did i don't know if others did but the writing was on they saw the writing praise god five and six and the king countenance he was pale and he was so afraid he was in fear and uh, and uh, then the king countenance was changed and his thoughts troubled him so that his joints of his loins were loose his joints he was losing his stand couldn't really he's in bad shape you know that's when you can't hardly stand his knees smote together he was, he was beating like a drum like clapping together his knees but he was so afraid and the king cried out for the sorcerers and the, the chaldeans the sorcerers the astrologers and different people that were in his kingdom the soothsayer this the fortune teller the enchantment he wants to know what does that writing mean and uh, and if you tell me what it means i'm gonna give you uh, i'm going to give you a third of the kingdom i'll give you a gold chain and you will get a, a purple robe but none of them could figure it out uh, five and eight praise god and and then came in and then came in all the the wise men that came in like i said they couldn't figure it out at all they didn't know because it was from the lord praise god and the king was so troubled and other people were concerned too and his conscience had changed and the lords were astonished so they were concerned too but the the, the mother the queen came in the queen the, the queen came in and she heard you know all this commotion and what was going on in that room she came in into the banquet house she came in while the where they were partying big time and outside the building were Medes and Persians out there uh, uh, the enemy was trying to get in there they were trying to get in the building to conquer the Babylonians and eventually they they will they will conquer the, the Babylonians that same night it's a message on the wall and so okay and so the Queen came in she saw what was going on and taught people uh, the little commotion and so now the king the queen now by reason of the word of the king of the of his lords came into the banquet and the queen spake and said oh king she telling the king oh live forever why are you try and, and uh, let not let not thy thoughts trouble thee nor let thy conscience be changed you know don't you don't you, don't you let those things trouble you because she she's going to let her let him know there was a man in this kingdom that she remembered during the time of Nebuchadnezzar, his grandfather, that he had the spirit, he, he, uh, he had a spirit of excellence. Okay, let me read all of it. First, 5 and 11, there was a, there was a man in that kingdom, and this is Daniel, he was up in age now. He's up, he's really closer, he's really up in age. The children of Israel have been in their captivity about 70 years, it's almost time. And this is a, this is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods and in the day of thy father light and understanding of wisdom like the wisdom of gods was found in him praise god whom whom the king nebuchadnezzar our father the king i say but this is other words saying praise the lord he didn't understand uh there was the nebuchadnezzar had dreams and and uh, dream of that uh that's uh, i guess we call like a a soldier or someone that was standing up had gold on top of his head different stones were going down so uh uh Janie was able to interpret that in other dreams too and so he she's letting him know he need to i mean this you should be and let him know that this happened during the time of your grandfather okay and this man is a spirit of excellence praise god five and twelve of of what uh, daniel says for as much as she's talking to him for as much as the, he, this Daniel has an excellent spirit and knowledge, you know, spirit, understanding and knowledge comes from the Lord. Wisdom comes from the Lord. Fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. And understanding, he's talking about Daniel, interpreting of dreams and showing 
of hard sentence. And you know, that she, she, she's talking about Daniel. You call, ask him to call him. And he'll show you what that interpretation is that's on the wall. Praise the Lord. So uh, Daniel and do we uh, 13. Then was Daniel brought into the king. And the king spake to Daniel, Are thou the Daniel that uh, are of the children of the of captivity of Judea, whom the king whom the king my father brought out of Jewry? He knows he is, that he is. He's the one. Because he praise God. Five and fourteen. I have I have even heard of thee I, that the spirit of the gods are in thee, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. Praise the Lord. So he knows he he experienced he's seen what his what his grandfather went through, and uh, praise God. He knows he's the one that uh, interpret those dreams. Five and fifteen, and now the wise men, all the astrologers, said they all they all they, all, they couldn't figure it out. They didn't they, they weren't supposed to know. It was of the Lord. Okay, now the next verse is 16. I have heard of thee, that thou can can make interpretation. This is what the king is saying. And you can explain this uh, dissolved doubts. Dissolved doubts. Now, if thou could read, now that he's repeating, if you be able to read the interpretation of what's written on the wall, praise the Lord, you'll get the gold chain. Uh, praise God and the third of the kingdom because you know he is second in kingdom his father is the first in kingdom but he's not in that he's not he's, he's lived somewhere else but his son is in charge the third kingdom and also get you a, a purple robe praise God and Daniel told him to keep that stuff keep that stuff and Daniel you know you know what uh, gifts of God they can't be bought you know it's because you know God gives you a uh, interpretation they can't be bought praise God no it's free and Daniel 5 and 17 then Daniel answered and said before the king let the gifts be be to thyself keep your gifts to yourself and give thy rewards to another give your rewards to another yet I will read the writing I'm going to read the writing unto the king and make known him the interpretation so and 18 and thou o thou king the most high god now he now daniel was talking to the king now i'm, I'm going to tell you the interpretation of that or the writing on the wall but before i do it i'm going to talk to you he's going to talk to him praise god thank god i thank the lord so five and um o king the most high god gave nebuchadnezzar his grandfather the kingdom god gave your father the kingdom the majesty and uh, glory and honor it all was from the lord 19 and for the majesty that he gave him all people i mean he was over all people nations languages and uh praise the lord and also says her tremble and fear before him uh so he's saying that he was in he was in total control some people had lost their lives so they were slew slow a uh, slew and uh, live praise god God set up whoever you want, and he put, take you down. I don't care. They ain't control of people trying to be smart, trying to make sure that certain people don't get in office. God ordained whoever you want to be in office. But uh, praise the Lord. He, uh, praise God, in verse 5 and 20. And when he had lifted, he's talking about his grandfather to him, explain. Remember what happened to your grandfather? I mean, see, like when you get, you got an example there that you don't want to do what he did to, to, for something to happen to you, but. Some people are hard headed. Praise the Lord. He had an example. He seen what was going on with his grandfather. Five and twenty. And when his heart was lifted up and his mind hardened in pride, his grandfather had all of everything he could want. He was in control of the world and people, uh, kingdoms, and he had he had it going on. But he exalted himself. God put him in that position. But he exalted him himself and got big headed. Praise the Lord. Praise God. When he lifted up his mind hardened in pride, and you know there were some watchers, uh, he was warned ahead of time about his pride being prideful, but it was some watchers in heaven, and he that's when he he was uh, deposed from the kingly throne. He was put off his kingly throne temporary for seven years. Praise God, because he took his he took he was uh, he didn't God give God his glory. It was the Lord that put him in that position. Twenty one. 
And like I said, read earlier, he was, he was uh, driven out by men, and his heart was made like the beast, and his dwelled with, with, and, uh, dwelling was with the wild asses, those were donkeys, and they fed him with grass with, uh, like oxen. And uh, they said, okay, and his body was wet with the dew, and also, uh, till he knew, till he came to us, God gave him his mind back. It's a blessing to have a mind, good to have a sound mind. God is not giving a spirit of fear, but a love, power, and a sound mind. Till he knew that the most high ruling king, the kingdom of men. I don't care who you are, God is able to humble you. And he, until he came to his sense and realized who 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 uh, who rules the world, who's sovereign. Praise God. And God does whatever he wanna do. Praise God. So he was in the situation for seven years, came to his senses and and uh, and uh, twenty two and thou, this is this is Daniel talking to Belshazzar. And thou, his son, his that's his grandson, has you had humble yourself, uh, and you had humble yourself in your heart, uh, though you knew all this what happened, you knew what your grandfather went through. An example for you, but no, you won't. And so what you did wrong, twenty three, when thou lifted up yourself, you got high minded against the Lord of Heaven. And you brought out the vessels of his house, and you started, everybody was drinking wine out of those vessels that were sanctified, that were set apart for the master Jews that were in Jerusalem and Solomon's temple. And so, and this next thing says here, And thou praise the God of silver, gold, brass, wood, iron, stone. These things don't see, they don't hear, they don't know anything. And the Lord is in, and the Lord in whose hand thy breath is. Praise God. Your breath, all our breath is in the Lord's hand. And whose are all the ways have you haven't glorified the Lord at all? You thought it was all about you. You thought you were the one that, it was your strength and might. It wasn't your strength. In Him we live and move and have our being. It was the Lord. But I like that verse say, And the God of whose hand thy breath is. Daniel was telling that king this. Praise God. Your breath is in his hand. Our breath is in his hand. He calls our heart to beat. He calls our uh, heart and the lungs and breath. The next breath because of the Lord. Uh, he is in, And uh, the heart and lungs are involuntary. It has nothing to do with, uh, you know, no control. It, it does it voluntarily. I thank the Lord. So 5 and 24, involuntary uh, as the, the heart and the lungs. Then what part of the hand sent from him and his writing was written praise god 25 this the writing said mika mika tika up is it up harsh and i think praise the lord so this is the interpretation daniel is giving him the mika means number your kingdom is number and it's finished it's over it's over in uh 27 tika means the thou are weighed in the balance and are not wanting praise god in 528, prayer is probably pronounced, and the, the kingdom is divided. It's going to be divided once the, about the Medes and Persians going to come in the, um, in there under the, I believe it's under the, the city, uh, under the walls through the Euphrates uh, water. What they're going to do, they're going to make a, you know, they're going to kind of stop the water. I think it's like, like a, you know, the beaver make dams, they're damming up the water where they can where they can easily sneak in and it's a coincidence that the gates that they they were closed they were open just that day but god it was in god's plan you know whatever god calls is going to be praise god we don't have nothing to worry about we have to remember who's in control god's in control he'll take care of us and uh 5 and 29 and he he uh told him the the interpretation so De the belshazzar is giving him the gold chain and the third of the kingdom, and also this this role. But that night, Belshazzar, king of the Chaldeans, he was killed. He was slain. That's the Babylonian king, the third time. And uh, five and thirty-one, Darius the Median, Medius, Mede, took the kingdom. Being he was sixty-two years old, and it was in the Lord's plan. Praise the Lord. And you know that there was a prophecy uh, that uh, the Cyrus, the, the king of the Medes and Persia. That he would be, a, he would uh, before it was prophesied way before um, his time. I don't know how, how many years, but it was a long time before this came to pass. 
and he was the one that allowed God's people to return return back to their land to rebuild. So I just hope that pride goes before destruction, a heart and spirit before a fall. Praise the Lord. That's something, you know. I thank the Lord. So you keep me in your prayers. I want you to have a Merry Christmas. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. You know, I tell you, the word will encourage your heart. The Bible says he will lift it on thine head. God is so good. So God bless you, Sister Vanessa. You keep me in your prayers. I'll be on next Wednesday. Bye-bye.